Imagine being able to memorize 12 pieces of information just by drawing a simple mind map on a piece of paper. It could be 12 names, 12 words in a foreign language, or 12 facts that help you in your work. Why 12? That's what we're going to talk about today. So if you're interested in combining mind maps with memory palaces, buckle in. These two techniques are powerful on their own, but wait until you experience what they can do for your memory when you bring the two together. Hello Magnetic Memorizers, this is Anthony Metivier from MagneticMemoryMethod.com and welcome to our third video in this series on mind mapping examples. If you're new here and want to join us, get started now by subscribing to this channel and enabling notifications so you don't miss anything. Oh, and if you love the memory tradition, make sure to hit that thumbs up and help me spread the good news about memory improvement and accelerated learning by sharing this one around. Now, I've thought about it for a long time and run a bunch of experiments, and this is the best I've come up with so far when it comes to making mind maps simple memory palaces. Sure, it's only 12 pieces of information, but remember, as we discussed in the previous two videos of this series, it's the rules or laws of mind mapping that set you free. And if you can just imagine a blank page as a clock and limit yourself to 12 branches, you will open up a lot of potential through focusing on less. It's not just that less is more, it's that we need space. And Tony Buzan made it so clear just how powerful the white space we leave on our mind maps can be. So when you mind map to memorize something, start with the central image. For example, let's say you wanted to memorize 12 words related to cooking in German. You would then draw something related to the theme in the center of the page. Then radiate your 12 branches from the center starting at 12 o'clock. For example, on this mind map, the central image is a fish to represent cooking. At 12 o'clock, I have four bereiten, which means to prepare. At three o'clock, I have bakken to bake, six o'clock, vishen to wipe, and zetzen at nine o'clock, which means to set something. If you'd like to see the whole mind map, please visit my mind map mastery page using the link below. Notice that I'm not going for artistry here with this mind map example. This practice is about speed and distribution of the information for elaborating with the memory palace technique. The next step to turning this into a memory palace is to apply the major system. Now, to make this work, you need to learn a few simple associations. First, you associate each number from 0 to 9 with a consonant. It needs to be a consonant so you can combine numbers with words that will later help you make associations around the mind map memory palace. To learn the major in full, please follow up with the free trainings I've linked for you in the description. Now, since the major system tells most of us that 1 is a D or T and 2 is an N, mentally impose a word derived from that combination on your information in position 12. I do this after creating the branch. My image for 12 is Tin Tin, so a word like Forbereiten will use him to remember the sound and the meaning of the word. Personally, I never draw my Tin Tin image when I do this. That's where the keyword to be memorized goes. In this case, I would see Tintin preparing to drive a forklift over an iceberg on a tent. The sounds of four in forklift and I in iceberg and ten in tent help trigger the German word. To review the word, I just have to think back and ask, what was happening at 12 o'clock? Since I know that 12 must be Tintin, I can think about what he was doing and derive the sound and the meaning of the German word. I would then move on to the next branch and my next image for the number 01. I use the tragedy mask based on the word sad, which is derived from the major system. For Legan, I might see Stan Lee laying out a pair of Lee jeans over a Sega Genesis while wearing a tragedy mask. Lee and the Gen of Genesis bring it all back and the tragedy mask tells me it was on station one of this mind map memory palace. Well, this approach takes some practice. Does it involve some setup? You bet. And it's up to you to find out if it's worth developing these skills for yourself. You can also explore cross-indexing this kind of approach with the more traditional kinds of memory palaces I teach, but here's the important thing. Whatever approach you take, spend enough time with it to really find out how it works. So many people hit one obstacle and then give up. That's no way to operate, and as I shared with you in video 2 of this playlist, mind mapping can help you craft a vision so profound that you won't get so easily knocked off course. Check it out if you missed it, follow up for more on my website, and let's keep the conversation going in the discussion area below. Mind mapping is very powerful for memory, and this is just one way I've had a lot of fun working with. If you need more help, make sure you're subscribed to this channel, hit the thumbs up, and take the free course at magneticmerrymethod.com forward slash YT. 
Thanks for checking out this playlist on mind mapping examples. I might add a few more videos from time to time, so make sure you let me know what kind of mind map examples you'd like to see, and I'll see what I can do. Oh, and as a final tip, think about scaling back if 12 is too many stations for you. You can start with just 12 o'clock, 3, 6, and 9 o'clock, for example. You can even start without learning the major system first, but I highly recommend that you put a date on the calendar and pick that skill up ASAP. If you don't schedule it, when on earth is it likely to happen? Remember, magnetic friends, someday rarely comes. So make prioritizing, taking action, and picking up the skills you need a priority. You'll be glad you did.